Hey, what's up? Um, I want to make a video about challenges. How we tend to, sometimes in a negative way, um, get brought down by our challenges and view ourselves as our challenges as opposed to somebody that has many talents and has a challenge. In addition, the challenge becomes our perception of ourself, which can be very depressing. So I want to talk about, take a couple of examples to illustrate this point. So, um, I have a friend. Her challenge is um, loneliness. Nobody seems to like her. And what constantly happens is people leave her out. She gets filled up with the emotion of being left, left out. And then she starts fighting back, trying to get included in this and that. And then people view her as nosy and nudgy. It's very painful for her. It becomes her challenge, becomes her social um, challenges, becomes all she thinks about. And she views herself as, as unlovable, as somebody who's flawed and somebody who has somebody who is the problem. Now, the fact that she may have great interpersonal skills and be smart and clever and funny creative um, it doesn't matter because her mind focuses it puts its percentage it puts its its focus on the problem it gets very down about the problem and it leads to depression depression of the fact that I am somebody who's flawed simply flawed something simple simply wrong with me that's one challenge Another challenge, um, take somebody who's addicted to drugs, you know, they have this terrible struggle and they fall and they go back to the drugs and then they, you know, they're clean again, they go to some program, you know, 12 steps or whatever. And they're working, they're growing, they're, they're dealing with their struggle, their challenge. Sure enough, they have a fall again. This time it was three weeks later instead of a week later. And what happens? I'm just a druggie. I'm flawed. I have no self-control. I don't know how to control my life. I don't have control over my life. What am I even worth? And those thoughts, simply thoughts, lead to depression and lead to more drug usage. Everybody has their problems. Everyone has their struggles. Everyone has their particular challenges that they're given. Dead. Whoa! Um, and I think that what would help is if people realize that, first of all, everybody has a struggle. Everybody has something that they're fighting. And instead of perceiving the challenge as a definition of their worth, it's opportunity to grow. It's an opportunity to fight it, learn how to beat it, deal with the falls, but to separate, to divide the challenge, something that's an attachment to the whole you, to the whole person. And once you could do that, it's, it's a totally different picture. I am a human. I have a major, major capabilities. I have all sorts of talents, all sorts of awesome things that I can do. 
all sorts of strengths. But I was given this challenge, and I was given this challenge for whatever reason, but to, but, to grow, to make a difference, to fight for it, to learn, to beat it. And it's a slow process and it's painful. No one, nobody enjoys failures at all. But the struggle and the challenge and the failures is not me, it's not who I am, it's, it's, it's a completely separate thing. And I want to say this, to even get excited for the challenge. Like, yo, I'm a warrior. I will take this challenge and I will learn to beat it. Because I am powerful. I'm strong. I'm not flawed. And that change of attitude changes our perception of, A, the challenges, and be our positivity towards them and desire to change, desire to learn how to beat it. Because when we move into the just, I'm um, messed up because of the challenge, what happens is, is we kind of essentially stop trying. Our brain gets all clogged up and essentially we're not really learning from our mistakes, we're not really growing, we're not really changing. We're just locked into the failures, locked into the fact that I am the druggie, or I am unlovable, or I have no friends, or no one likes me, or I can find the relationship, or I, whatever that particular challenge the person is dealing with, that becomes their focus, and that becomes their defining worth. And I think this change of attitude Whenever we get hit with the struggle, just to bend down and say, yo, yo, I'm a warrior. I'm a fighter. This is my challenge. I'm going to beat this challenge. But this challenge is not me. It's separate. I think that's the key to feeling good about yourself. And that's also the key to not getting down. And you look at people that are, that are truly happy. People that are truly happy and you, you wonder, how are they happy? And I think it's because of this attitude, this chiyuvi, this positive attitude towards fails, struggles, towards their challenges, towards the package that they've been given. And I think through this, people can not just find happiness with themselves and find self-worth, but people can also, people can also win overcome their challenges, change. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions, feedback. Take care.